This has never been about bathrooms. This is all about politics and discrimination. Whenever established power brokers have felt threatened, particularly in the South, they stir up sexual and racial fears for political power. Go home, tell your friends and family who had to work today what this is all about and how hard we must fight to keep our state straight. Because of this bill being wrong and discriminatory, it is killing our state's reputation and business climate. We have lost thousands of jobs, hundreds of millions of dollars of economic activity, and the National Basketball Association, which was going to bring the NBA All-Star Game to Charlotte, has pulled it and given it to New Orleans. The NBA has moved its annual All-Star Game from North Carolina because of the state's transgender bathroom law. That economic impact for just a weekend was gonna be $100 million bars, restaurants, hotels, any kind of retailer in Charlotte. I mean, everything would have just done incredible business for the, for the whole region in uh, North Carolina. Um, and they, they don't care. They're willing to inflict damage on the state and on its people in pursuit of some extreme ideology. And I don't even believe they think it's real because you know why? There's not even a penalty for a violation of a transgender person going into the bathroom. A U.S. District Court judge, federal court judge, who was appointed by a Republican and who had actually upheld the anti-voter law before the Fourth Circuit overturned it. He said, you're gonna create a greater public outcry because if you have a transgender male, a, a person, a, a man who was born a woman, they have beards, muscles, you want to force that man to go into a woman's bathroom because he was born a woman. Using the female bathroom and looking like a young teenage boy and a woman getting upset, calling for her boyfriend, getting drug out of the bathroom. Luckily, the situation was uh, diffused. He didn't beat me up. He just threw me to the ground and that was it. But that's violent enough. Yeah, that is. I mean, that's, you know, that's too much right there. I mean, which bathroom do I pick? Do I pick the one that I will get maybe get arrested to go in or the one that I could get beaten and possibly even killed going into. And let's get rid of all these protections for gays and lesbians because we're angry that they can marry each other. And let's create a fear about something that doesn't exist. And by the way, we get the added benefit. Let's try to defeat some Democrats at the polls because we can create an irrational fear and the people aren't buying it. It's, this is one step too far for these guys.